Hi there, I'm Megan and I go by Solar Glow Meditations. Tonight we're going to have a dowsing rod session where I will be asking questions that you guys have submitted. So if you guys have questions that you want me to ask in these sessions, if you could submit them to the link in the description box, I'll put it down below. Um, it helps keep me organized because my backlog of questions keeps growing, which is fantastic. You guys are so curious and I appreciate that. Um, so yeah. A few other things. Uh, the future is not set in stone. Anything I ask about the future can change. It's just the most likely outcome at this point in time based on the way things are going, the way people are acting, general sentiment in the uh, ether. So take those things with a grain of salt. Know that you can change the future if you want to just by changing your actions, your thoughts, and go from there. Um, also, I am not a medical professional. Please do not take this as medical advice. Please talk to your doctor before making any decisions medically. And in this case, it's for uh, entertainment purposes only. Um, other things, I don't necessarily believe everything that comes through the rods. This is very much for your own discernment. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and go from there. So yeah, I think that covers it. Oh, if you guys... Um, want to i do release these videos early for subscribers so if you want to join my channel there's a link in the youtube uh website you might have to join from a desktop computer i know some folks have had issues with that so so yeah with that let's go ahead and get into it and figure out who we're talking to if you're with me and willing to answer questions could you cross the odds for a yes thank you could you open wide for no thank you could you point to the direction of your energy you. Am I speaking with an archangel? No, thank you. Am I speaking with an ascended master? Yes, thank you. Am I speaking with Buddha? No, thank you. What about Shiva? Hey, Shiva. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, let's get into the questions. Is sugar a drug? No answer. Can sugar be a drug? Yes, thank you. Does salt protect you against negative energy? Yes, thank you. Is there food in the afterlife? No, thank you. Is eating cold and frozen food bad for the body's health? Answer, does that depend on the individual again? Yes, thank you. Um, for most people, is eating cold and frozen food bad for the body? No, thank you. Is eating healthy food important for keeping your mind and body soul in balance? Yes, thank you. Does food addiction hinder your spiritual progress? answer. Um, can food addiction hinder your spiritual progress? Yes, thank you. I feel like you want me to ask more about you, is that right? No? Okay. We'll keep going then. Um, is there, should I be asking why you're here today? Yes, thank you. Are you really into food and food culture? No, thank you. Are you really into mind-body connection? Yes, thank you. Well, thank you for being here, Shiva. Is there something else to ask about? Yes. I don't know what it is. Okay, well, we'll keep going and I'll see if I can figure it out. Um, does overeating sugary processed food for long periods hinder your ability to hear divine guidance? No, thank you. Does overeating sugary processed foods on a daily basis for many years hinder your creativity? No, thank you. About does overeating sugary processed foods on a daily basis for many years, does that hinder your energy levels? Yes, thank you. Can an addiction to processed high sugar foods, high fat foods be as harmful to the body as alcohol addiction? Yes, thank you. Is it possible to survive without eating food? No, thank you. What about that one lady that hadn't eaten food in 40 years? Was she an exception? 
Yes, thank you. Is it true that pretty much everybody else can't do that? Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, is the deep state trying to shut down the food supply system? No, thank you. Have companies and other bad actors been poisoning us through our food? No. Have they been poisoning us unintentionally with food? No, thank you. Is it more on the person that's choosing what food they eat? Yes, thank you. Will everyone need to grow their own food? No, thank you. Should we avoid foods and drinks labeled with the Rainforest Alliance logo for health reasons? No, thank you. Is fruit one of the best staple foods for humans? Yes, thank you. Is raw plant-based diet the healthiest foods for humans on planet Earth? No, thank you. Is there a food or herb that can radically reverse aging? Yes, thank you. Interesting. Is it an herb? No, thank you. Is it a food? Yes, thank you. Is is it just raw vegetables? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, is goat milk good for you? Yes, thank you. Is goat milk good for everybody? No, thank you. Is ADHD caused by processed foods? No, thank you. Should we eat only organic foods? No, thank you. Is organic foods better generally for our health and our body? Yes, thank you. Should we not be eating foods that are, uh, I guess, fertilized? or even, excuse me, should we be eating foods that have been grown inorganically if we don't have access to organic food? I think that question was clear. Should not having access to organic food prevent us from eating fruits and veggies? No, thank you. Do alkaline foods increase life expectancy? Yes, interesting, okay. Are papayas a healing food? Yes, thank you. Are different blood types supposed to eat different foods? No, thank you. Does your body tell you what it needs like food and when to eat it? Yes, thank you. Do companies use glitter in the food industry? Yes, thank you. Uh, is companies using glitter in food why there is a shortage of glitter? No, thank you. Is there a way to grow food with old soil and hot climates? Yes, thank you. Is pig meat generally safe for humans to consume when cooked? Yes, thank you. Is eating meat bad for our bodies? No, thank you. Does eating meat lower your vibration? Go on with a no answer. Can eating meat lower your vibration? Yes, thank you. Are restaurants serving lamb-grown meats without our knowledge? No. He's like already halfway to no. He must have read the question. Is that what happened? Okay, yes. <laughs> um, are vegan vegans higher vibration than meat eaters? No, thank you. Are meat eaters higher vibration than vegans? No, thank you. Uh, is the best diet for an O positive blood type, a protein in meat, and low-carb diet? No answer. Thank you. Is blood at all related to what we should consume, like blood types? No, thank you. Uh, 
does eating meat lower your intuitive abilities? No, thank you. How about does eating meat lower your Reiki abilities? No, thank you. Does eating meat lower your healing abilities? No, thank you. Does eating meat lower your ability to raise your own consciousness? No, thank you. Did Jesus eat meat? Yes, thank you. Can eating meat be beneficial for our health? Yes, thank you. Is eating meat necessary? No, thank you. Is it a sin to eat meat from factory farms? No, thank you. When we eat meat, do we take in negative fearful energy of that animal? Yes, thank you. Do, do lobsters and crabs feel pain when they're being cooked? No, thank you. Does eating nightshades contribute to or worsen thyroid disease? No, thank you. Is coffee bad for the body? No, thank goodness. I would keep drinking it anyways. Sorry, Shiva. Um, can coffee raise your vibration? Yes, thank you. And that's not just because I like coffee? Yes, okay. Good, good. Uh, can milk thistle tea easily cure cancer? No, thank you. Do tea leaf readings really tell truths? Yes, thank you. Does the blue lotus tea contain magical or spiritual powers? Yes, thank you. Is tea better than coffee? No, thank you. How about is coffee better than tea? No, thank you. Shiva, would you drink a pumpkin spice latte? Yes, thank you. Is a pumpkin spice latte a sin against coffee? No, thank you. Um, do commonly consumed vegetables like eggplants, tomatoes, and broccoli contain nicotine? No, thank you. Is cilantro disgusting? No, thank you. Do some people think cilantro is disgusting? Yes, thank you. Can herbs really fix fertility issues? Yes, thank you. Do medicinal herbs grow in your garden if you need them? Yes, thank you. Is it better to use an herb for rituals instead of consuming them? No, thank you. How about the other way? Is it better to use herbs for consuming rather than rituals? No, thank you. Is bread necessary for a good diet? No, thank you, but slow no. Um, can be bread be part of a good diet? Yes, thank you. Is a whole food plant-based diet the healthiest? No, thank you. Is there one diet that is the healthiest? Yes, thank you. Uh, is the healthiest diet a balanced diet? Yes, thank you. Interesting. Is it balanced to the individual's needs though? Yes, thank you. Does praying over your food before eating raise the vibration or clear it of its low vibration? Yes, thank you. Is it true that food can only make you fat or skinny if you believe it does? No, thank you. Um, is mindset around food about whether or not it will make you fat or skinny, does that influence what will happen to that food? Yes, thank you. But it's not the only thing that really changes that. Is that right? Yes, thank you. Interesting. <laughs> um, is Patricia Bish's theory about food in Freedom from Food true? Yes, thank you. I've never read that book, but I might have to go check that out. Uh, is healthy food and exercise the most effective way to lose weight for most people? Yes, thank you. 
Does microwaving your food make it less healthy for you? No, thank you. Um, are there some people that are unable to lose weight with diet and exercise? Yes, thank you. I guess, is there too much focus on weight loss culture around food? Yes, thank you. Uh, can you make unhealthy foods healthy by telling yourself that they are? No answer. Interesting. Is it possible to do that in maybe small quantities? Yes, thank you. Um, are humans a food source for extraterrestrials? No, thank you. By thinking and or visualizing that we were offering to help uh, people with food or water that are far away that might need it, do we actually help them? Yes, thank you. Is the ingredient natural flavors bad for us? <laughs> no answer. Does it depend on where it's being used? Yes, thank you. Are food allergies a trauma response? No, oh, thank you. Is wasting food impacting our vibration? Yes, thank you. Can honey cause cancer since it has a lot of natural sugar in it? No, oh, thank you. Uh, does sugar cause cancer? Yes, interesting. Um, I assume, does that mean sugar in excess? Yes, thank you. Sugar is still part of a balanced diet when eaten in moderation. Yes, thank you. Uh, is it better to drink sugar-free drinks than drinks with sugar? No, interesting. Um, is that because better is relative? Yes, thank you. Is Alzheimer's caused by consuming sugar? No, thank you. Does sugar cause great harm to the body? Yes, thank you. Is that even when done in small amounts? Yes, I feel like that's sort of a contradiction, isn't it? No answer, okay. Um, is part of, I guess, is all food eating causing harm to the body? Yes, thank you. Um, should we stop consuming sugar because it's causing harm to the body? Yeah, no, thank you. Interesting. Um, is sugar causing harm to the body part of the natural cycle of life and kind of, yes. Okay, interesting. Uh, I just want to be clear that I'm not trying to demonize certain foods or um, anything like that. So let's keep going. Are natural sugars uh, that form lowering our vibration? No, thank you. <laughs> Is Celtic salt good for the body? Yes, thank you. Can salt water heal cancer? Yes, thank you. Does putting water with crystal salt under the bed help repel negative energy? Yes, thank you. Is there water, sweet or salty, that in the spirit world? No, thank you. I guess in the spirit world, can you consume food and still have like the energetic feeling of that consumption? Yes, thank you, but it's different than the physical feelings. Is that accurate? Yes, thank you. Um, are humans designed to eat nose-to-tail fatty meats and everything else in moderation and low-carb? No answer. Thank you. Does swimming in salt water cleanse your aura? 
Yes, thank you. Do salt water cleanse the aura more so than natural waters? No, thank you. If you pour salt in front of your front door, will it keep bad spirits and energies and even curses away? Yes, thank you. Is taking cell salts, also known as tissue salts, beneficial for our health? No answer. Is that because, like, is some are some of them not good for us? No, thank you. Um, are they good for us? Yes, but they're not necessarily beneficial. Yes, thank you. Alrighty. Uh, is a fire without salt still cleansing? Yes, thank you. Can salt or chilies be used to get rid of the evil eye? Yes, thank you. Alrighty, that's all the questions that I have for today. So if you guys have more questions that you'd like me to ask, if you could drop them in the link in the description box, that would help me greatly. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a good one and I'll catch you next time.